Whoa, a little bit too close there. We did go up the curb. Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. It is snowing right now, so we got around 20 centimeters of snow. Uh, I'm on 11.4.8.1, so this is probably my second time engaging FSD or third time with this version. So yeah, this will be interesting. Uh, let's see if there's anything new with uh, FSD uh, with snow, because uh, this is another, uh, let's say, minor version, really, to be honest. I don't see anything new. A little bit of a fast turn over here. Yeah, and we can see we're kind of sliding off. All right, I'm gonna disengage. It's not happy with this. And on that note, <laughs> I will decrease the autopilot speed. This decreases the offset by 10%. Let's see how that works. Okay. Let's see if, this, if that's any better. To be honest, that's only 45. Like I really like the the offset uh, earlier on, where you can reduce it by by mostly. Woo, here we go. We're getting into the action testing right now. Finally, in winter, I have to be a little bit cautious here. It's actually doing pretty good. Like it's picking the right. It's not really. Um, confusing the snow banks over here I mean 20 centimeters of snow coming from nothing is really quite the amount so uh, we still see this behavior over here where it can't see the right lane so it's going to indicate and uh, we're kind of in the middle of the intersection right now or the street I come to a complete stop so yeah, I reduced it by 20% so that's I think the maximum so that gives me minus 10 kilometers per hour from the residential road 50 kilometers an hour so that's uh that's okay but that's not um that's not uh, you know enough when it's really really snowy but uh yeah really wish that fsd can actually um can actually make out that from snow that uh, it needs to reduce the speed by itself but as we saw right there it doesn't really do that yet so if you folks like this video please hit like and please subscribe to my channel It'll help me a lot um, I love to do FSD videos. Uh, winter is kind of my jam. I really like the snow conditions and seeing if there's any changes happening. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go straight ahead over here. And, and you can see clearly in front of us, we can't really see much lanes and... Yeah, it has to slow down quite a bit over here. Yeah, okay, that's good. I mean, it kind of thinks that there's we're in the right in the center of the lane over here but it doesn't seem like we are I would prefer to be on this lane if we're gonna go straight away um, that's okay though it's still doing it and I'm pretty happy with it so and now it's kind of centering on this lane so that's good let's see how it does over here with the with the snow racked up like kind of like yeah, we're getting too close to the curb there. It's kind of just missed the curb right there. Just missed the curb. I was about to disengage, but uh, it took a little bit of a left. Yeah, so snow, ba snow banks, when it goes up to 20 centimeters like this, um, it makes it hard for FSD to know the real, the real um, boundaries of the road. So, and that's basically the biggest the biggest issue with driving on FSD with snow, to be honest. Other than that, it does a great job. Um, another one, of course, is braking early. So we often found uh, find issues with the car not braking early enough. But I mean, like you can see, it started braking just just the right distance away from the stop right light over here in the intersection. So that's pretty good. Um, if you folks are interested in buying a Tesla, there are a lot of promos going on right now. I got sent a message from Tesla, um, uh, Tesla dealer uh, in in our area over here in Calgary, telling me that I've got thousand three hundred dollars off just because I'm a Cybertruck uh, reservation holder. So if you folks, uh, if you folks like issue, um, if you folks like uh, discounts like that, just make sure you follow up with your Tesla dealer. And also follow, uh, go to my link at the bottom of the video below. Uh, it'll give you also another few hundred dollars off 
your your Tesla purchase. So uh, make sure you do that and click the link below. Another new thing also, we're getting it's a little bit too fast here. That's okay, actually. That's pretty good. All right, so it's stopping here because we reached the destination. So I'm just going to hit the continue button here. Yeah. So yeah, if you folks have been uh, following up as well with the news, it seems like the holiday update is around the corner. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel to see a review of that coming up soon. Um, hopefully as soon as I get it, I'll, I'll probably do a, a short video showing all the features and, uh, and uh, additions that Tesla did. I think there's cool stuff coming up on the map where you can see where the stop signs are and where the uh, cameras are. Ooh, yeah, that's a little bit of a slip and slide there. Yeah, and it's going to come to a complete stop here, which is not the appropriate move. So I'm going to give it a tap on the accelerator here just to get it to go. And you can see that on the trajectory, it shows as if it's going to stop. So, and we don't really need to do that. So we're coming up here to this uh, residential intersection. There's not much really, there's no cars coming in from the left or the right. I am going to disengage just because... I'm worried that the car is going to slide to that person over there. So this is a um, high-speed cross-traffic street. Right now it looks pretty good, so it's a good chance for it to go ahead. And it does it very, very, very well. That's good. All right. Not much of an issue there. Okay, we'll skip ahead to the next turn. Yeah, it's getting close to that snow banks over there. So I'm not really sure why why it does that. It really doesn't see those, hey? 30 kilometer speed zone here. Doesn't really see it. We are driving quite slow, so I'm not gonna really interrupt the drive here. Whoa, that was, that was handled pretty good, actually. Like, it was kind of a little bit uh, like oversteering towards that car, but uh, it cranked the steering wheel and uh, tried to avoid that and so that was uh, a very good maneuver I would say it doesn't really need to oversteer at the first place though okay so it's clear on the left it's good to go Whoa, a little bit too close there we did go up the curb so that's not good Car went over the sidewalk on that turn, did not see snowbank. Put up that uh, voice uh, message over there. We are gonna give it, get, get in on a turn over here. It does really like to go wide on, on these turns, hey? So yeah. Car was oversteering. Yeah, it's getting too close to be honest to those to those sidewalks because they're kind of invisible to be honest. There we go. Nice slowdown for that person outside of the truck. Coming up to this intersection over here. It is a yield. I'm gonna slam on the brakes here. It does kind of tend to miss this. Skipping ahead on um, the yield sign over here, not checking for traffic. So that that um, that intersection is notorious. Actually, even like in uh, non-snowy conditions, it does tend to skip that yield sign over there and does not check for traffic. Unfortunately. Um, all right, coming up to this green light over here, we shouldn't be stopping. So I'm going to give it a tap on the accelerator here. All righty. Wow, they've already cleared up these uh, streets over here. Kudos to the city for doing that. Okay, so we've got the green flashing light. It is kind of slow over here to take this turn. That's okay. 
the road's kind of cleared over here so it's kind of like a cheat for FSD but yeah I really liked seeing how it overcompensates a little bit on the steering wheel when it uh, finds out that it is actually getting out of the trajectory due to sliding on the snow oh here we go another sliding action so the car is kind of fishtailing but I handled it very well no red steering wheel Okay, let's see how slow we're gonna go for this alley access. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's put one last destination here. Here we go. Has to slow down. Nice slamming on the brakes there. Just uh, just to make sure we don't slip and slide there. That's pretty good. Yield sign coming up over here. Should slow down quite a bit. All right, so it does recognize cross traffic. All right, we've got a nice gap over here. We should be able to do this. And the car goes for it, guns it. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Very happy with that. And turning up over here, Ooh, we might be, yeah. I'm gonna slam on the brakes here and just try to, it wasn't really braking that hard car did not uh, overcompensate for slippery road so uh, getting out of trajectory there so I had to disengage so yeah we yeah it's not really and this is with minus 20% on the autopilot set speed so you have to really be careful with this and I'm, and I'm driving with winter tires as well so you got to be really careful um, engaging FSD in snow conditions to be honest it's not there yet uh, and this is on the latest version so Hopefully there'll be some uh, welcomed improvements coming to version 12. That'll be excellent to see. All right, so this is another yield sign and woo, there we go. There we go. And you can see why this is so dangerous. Like another yield sign that is getting skipped on. Oh, look, look at that. Somebody's getting solar, it looks like, over here. That's a Zeno van over there. So, yeah, skipping yield signs. Still have a major issue with yield signs and not being recognized. Sometimes they get recognized as a stop sign, which are income, which is not correct as well. But a yield sign on a three-way intersection like that, you better, you better come to almost a complete stop, I would say. Otherwise, you'll be sliding in the middle of the intersection, colliding with other cars. And if you folks like this video and you really like how FSD is um, doing on, on snow conditions, and you find this useful for, uh, for deciding on if FSD is a good purchase or not, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Recognizes the stop sign where you see a slam on the brakes there. We should be able to go. Yep, yeah, and here we go. Kind of turning in on the second lane over here. It's not a bad move. It's just uh, not a very natural move, but it does want to skip ahead to be able to make this uh, incoming left turn over here. So understandable. All right, so we gotta be fast over here. I'm gonna tap on the accelerator just to relieve these folks over here lined up on the other side. I do not want to interfere with that. So there we go, a few interventions, uh, a few major safety critical and disengagements to be honest. So I'm not gonna be uh, sugar coating it there, but I mean, it is nasty conditions. So uh, that's accept, um, you know, that's uh, anticipated to be honest. Yeah, folks, if you like this video, please hit like and please subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot. Follow me on X. I'll be, uh, I'll be also tweeting this out and, uh, and uh, posting this as a full video on my X. So uh, if you're interested to watch it over there. So, yeah, hope you folks have a good one and we'll see you the next one. Have a nice day.